Hi there, I am Sujata, founder of Grace USMLE Tutoring. I partnered with Achievable to create a comprehensive USMLE Step 1 course for medical students. It combines my years of USMLE tutoring experience with Achievable's powerful software. To learn more and gain access to a free trial, visit achievable.me. Hello everyone, I am Sujata. In this video, we will be covering primary immunodeficiency disorders. Immunodeficiency disorders may be due to defects of the T cells, B cells, combined immunodeficiencies because of defects in the T and B cells. It may be due to complement deficiencies or phagocyte deficiencies. In this video, we will discuss about T cell deficiencies, B cell deficiencies, and combined immunodeficiencies. Clinically, B cell deficiencies can be differentiated from T cell deficiencies due to the increased risk of recurrent pyogenic infections and infections with encapsulated bacteria. On the other hand, in T cell deficiencies, there is an increased risk of re, uh, infection with intracellular bacterial organisms and other intracellular microorganisms, as well as fungal and viral infections. They are also predisposed to develop malignancies and autoimmune disorders. In combined T and B cell deficiencies, what we see is a very severe form of immunodeficiency. Let's look at the B cell immunodeficiencies first. Selective IgA immunodeficiency. It is the most common primary immunodeficiency and characterized by a complete or total lack or absence of IgA in the bloodstream. Since IgA provides mucosal immunity, such patients are prone to recurrent infections of the mucosal tract, for example, recurrent upper respiratory tract infections, recurrent GI infections causing diarrhea, etc. Since such patients do not have IgA in the bloodstream, they should not be given blood transfusions or immunotherapy because they may uh, develop severe allergic reactions like anaphylaxis. Common variable immunodeficiency. It is characterized by the deficiency of at least two types of immunoglobulin in the plasma. Uh, for example, deficiency of IgA and IgG or deficiency of IgM and IgA, etc. Clinically, it presents with recurrent pyogenic infections. Some people are at increased risk of autoimmune disorders and certain malignancies like lymphomas and gastric carcinomas. Hyper IgM syndrome. This syndrome is characterized by excessively high levels of IgM in the bloodstream, at the same time, low levels of other immunoglobulins like IgG, IgA, etc. The defect is in the gene that codes for CD40 ligand. This CD40 ligand is present on the surface of CD4 helper T cells, and this ligand interacts with CD40 from B cells. This interaction between CD40 and CD40 ligand is important for class switching means conversion of IgM serotype into other serotypes like IgG, IgA, etc. That leads to recurrent pyogenic infections. Some people may be at increased risk of autoimmune disorders and cancers as well. Bruton's or X-linked A gamma globulinemia. This is an inherited disorder which is caused due to a defect in Bruton's tyrosine kinase. This is a special kind of tyrosine kinase that is important in the development of B cells. Because of the defect in this specific enzyme, what happens is B cells cannot develop in the bone marrow. As a result, the lab finding will be a complete to total lack of B cells as well as immunoglobulins in the blood. Therefore, there will be neutropenia. Clinically, it will present with recurrent pyogenic infections, which begin after two months of life, since the neonate will be protected by maternally acquired IgG from the placenta in the initial two months of life. In the next section, we will be looking at T cell immunodeficiencies or cell mediated immunodeficiencies. Viscott-Aldrich syndrome. 
This syndrome is caused due to a defect in WAS gene that codes for its product WASP or WASP. This product is a signaling molecule that is important in the interaction between cells and cytoskeletal structures like actin, which play an important role in cell mobility and cell adhesion. Because of that, there will be immunodeficiencies, which involve mainly the B cells, but also the T cells in some cases. It presents in the form of a classical triad of immunodeficiency along with thrombocytopenia and eczema. There are microplatelets on blood smear. And because of the thrombocytopenia, bleeding is also seen in some patients along with the pyogenic infections. D. George syndrome. In D. George syndrome, also called as velocardiofacial syndrome or thymic aplasia, there is a defect in the development of the third and fourth pharyngeal pouches. So development of the thymus, which is responsible for maturation of T cells and development of parathyroid glands leading to hypocalcemia is the leading clinical feature in this disorder. There is a deletion in chromosome 22. The syndrome can be remembered by the mnemonic CATCH-22, which stands for cardiac defects, abnormal facial features like low set ears, jaw defects, thymic aplasia or hypoplasia, cleft palate, and hypocalcemia. Chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis. This disorder is due to defect of cell-mediated immunity and is characterized by recurrent chronic persistent candidal infections involving only the skin and subcutaneous structures like skin, mucous membrane, and nails. Any T cell immunodeficiency which is congenital or acquired like um, HIV positive AIDS syndrome or d syndrome may present with chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis. Jobs syndrome or hyper IgE syndrome. In this syndrome, there is a very high level of IgE in the bloodstream along with recurrent cold abscesses and eczema. It is due to a defect in production of gamma interferon by the helper T cell, which then leads to a reduced function of the macrophages, leading to the recurrent cold abscesses. Th1 responses are affected and Th2 response gets out of control leading to high IgE levels. It may present with abnormal uh, signs and symptoms like sepsis and persistence of molluscum contagiosum infections. Let's talk about the combined immunodeficiencies. Severe combined immunodeficiency is caused by a defect in T cell and B cell function. It presents with a severe immunodeficiency and features like recurrent pyogenic infections, recurrent fungal and intracellular microbe infection, viral infections, cancers, autoimmune disorders, and failure to thrive. Physical examination may show the lack of tonsils and lymph nodes. Most of the common uh, reasons for SCID are due to enzyme defects in various enzymes like ZAP70, recombinase 1 and 2 enzymes, also called as RAG1 and RAG2 enzymes, ADA or adenosine deaminase deficiency, PRP enzyme deficiency, etc. Some defects may be caused by uh, abnormality in interleukin 2 receptor. Omen syndrome, which is caused by recombinase enzyme defects, is characterized apart from the immunodeficiency by erythroderma, skin peeling, etc. Immunoglobulin levels are low in all cases of SCID, and at the same time, live vaccines are contraindicated. Thanks for watching the video. Hope this helped you clear some concepts on immunodeficiency disorders.